It's not a surprise that most of our day-to-day -day work occurs in our browser, whether it would be Safari or Chrome. So let's start off with a few extremely powerful keyboard shortcuts which will work on both of them and that will help you be more productive. Command plus T will open up a new tab and Command plus W will close the current tab that you're on. Command plus Shift plus T will open the most recently closed tab. You'd be surprised how useful this one is once you start using it. Control plus Tab will let you cycle through your tabs. In addition, hitting Command and a number on your keyboard, like the number 2, will take you to the second tab. Control plus L lets you jump to the address bar to quickly start googling something. Command plus F lets you search for a specific word on a given page. And finally, command and plus or minus lets you zoom in and out. Of course, the browser isn't everything. It's also possible to swipe up with three fingers or four fingers, depending on your settings, on your magic trackpad to bring up what's called mission control. It will show all of your apps that are currently open and let you easily switch between them. At the end of the video, Video, I will also show you a very useful app to take mission control to the next level. Next up are virtual desktops, which can be used as separate workspaces on your computer. According to the author of Atomic Habits, which is a great read by the way, doing your work and leisure activities in different rooms of your house or even different computers can help you form habits which kick in when you enter that specific workspace. So when you enter the workroom, your brain will automatically switch on the work mode and you'll be much more productive. Naturally, if you only have one computer, then the solution to that would be virtual desktops. In other words, if you have a virtual desktop, let's say one for work and one for leisure, whenever you enter that space, your brain will automatically rewire itself to either work or relax. So if you want to do productive work, you just switch to your virtual desktop where all of your work-related stuff is and you'll find it much easier to be productive. Now, this effect is especially powerful if those spaces are in some way different from each other. So setting a different wallpaper paper for each virtual desktop would be a great idea. What's also useful is the ability to multitask between two or more application windows on your Mac at the same time. There's a built-in split view feature which will let you have two windows open simultaneously, but it's far from perfect. A better solution is a free app called Rectangle. It basically mimics app behavior from Windows operating system by letting you snap windows by dragging them to the edge of your screen and even lets you set up custom keyboard shortcuts to perform the snapping. Now, remember when I talked about mission control? Well, it turns out there's this simple app that adds a little X to each of the applications when you open mission control. So now, not only will you be able to quickly switch apps, but also quickly close them in mission control. And if you want to see the full guide for setting up your magic trackpad, then I will leave a link to a full trackpad gesture guide I've made in the description. And of course, there's more to productivity than multitasking. Having a clean, digital environment is also a key factor. So if you're open-minded about becoming more productive, check out this video about how I declutter my MacBook. Oh, and don't worry, if that one doesn't interest you, then here's a randomly generated one based on your interests.